is Mighty Freeze and White Peach. This is bomb, right? Delicious. Yes. Say I hello. Love it. Hi everybody! We're having a girls' night finally. Because <laughs> somebody's so, on vacation for 30 days. I know. Days. So we got to set up world. making some tacos. And actually, Did you make them or are you making guac? No, I'm making the, the stuff for all because the beef, you know, you want it to be fresh. The beef and the. So you got to separate. I see. I see. Just this and the beef is last, but everything else is really simple. It's really not. Oh, so you bought the birria from them. Or you made it? Oh, no, nah, I'm just making normal tacos. Oh, okay, I didn't go okay. pick up the burrito. No, no, that's fine. I just, I didn't, I was like, what? I was very impressed. I was like, that's smart. <laughs> I actually like this. This is what I've been doing a lot. I'm so ready for fall nights. I'm redoing my patio. It's going to be for fall, fall nights. nights. Yes, I just got my hot tub fixed. Because um, you remember the last time? For me. <laughs> we broke it. No, not you. I broke it. It was really me. No, I'm saying for me because I'm the yes, only friend that actually calls you. Like, you're not hot Yes. Oh my y'all. So we are about to make some, um, we are watermelon. about to make some watermelon marks. And shout out to Redmond. That's a cute blend. I know, I really like it. And it matches all of my of Your stuff, stuff yeah. So yeah, this is like really dope. And one second, let me situate this, yeah. Okay, so we are about to make Girls Night um, Margaritas, Watermelon Marks. Aliyah found this on Pinterest. And Aaliyah comes over and she's like, do you have a blender? I was like, I wanted to use this new blender that I just got. So oh shout out God. to Redmond for sending me this blender. It is really dope. It's just a personal blender. As you can see, here's the box. So we're about to unbox this and make some marks with this. So stay tuned. Do you have a link or a girls, girls night? My description bar. Period. Period. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to get girls night cake or period. <laughs> okay. Melon juice. I think it should be good. Do you have a hella drink recipe? This is the final product. And I be saving them like I be having like people over to do it. This is our brown beef. We got some shells, some guac, some pico. It's kind of messy. Taco night in full effect. Period. So as you can see, look, I'm so excited. The little podcast thing is set up. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, um, a second, let's put the camera. What's up? It is a Friday. And I resigned from my job. So I have to go take back my stuff to the office. Um, as y'all know. I got a pretty big surprise um, coming about my new job and things and opportunities. So yeah, <clears throat> like I was saying, today is a really just crazy weird day. I am leaving the house right now and I'm actually on my way to, um, I'm on my way to my one of my best friends um her name is Shanice she's actually closing on her home today so I'm going to help her get some footage and take some pictures and videos of her and stuff so that she can um you know what I mean enjoy her closing day and then I am headed to the office to go actually drop my things off so I'm not sure in relation to the other clips that I've already recorded you know where this vlog will fall in line so I am essentially starting a new job. Um, I took a new position at a new company and I will be announcing all of that soon. So um, if you follow me on Instagram and you've already seen it, then you know what I'm talking about. And if not, I am essentially going to be starting Microsoft in a week. So I'll be going into enterprise sales at Microsoft, which is literally y'all like the second biggest tech company in the world. So this is just such a dope moment for real to be able to know that like, um, you know, having no sales experience coming out of college, just within six years, being able to like be at this and be on like the second biggest and largest types of accounts at a company, um, 
you know, your enterprise and strategic accounts are literally the biggest accounts you can manage at a company. So it's just like such a blessing, y'all. Like, seriously, like this journey is crazy. Um, you know, they reached out to me. <clears throat> so a recruiter reached out to me, told me they were building a team in LinkedIn, thought I should apply, and I ended up getting the job. And yeah, they were just, it was a really great interview process and I ended up hearing back. So had to make an official decision. So I loved working where I was at. There was never any types of bad things that happened at One Trust, but you know, my management really, really groomed me to, I was already groomed from IBM, but my current manager, um, the two people that I had ended up working with during my time at One Trust, they took me to that next level and I really, really appreciate that um, experience. I think being at the fastest startup, you gotta think like, we see so many customers because the demand is insane. It's a really rapidly going company. So when I was first there, I remember sometimes I was on like maybe five, six, seven customer calls a week. Like that's not, you know, usually like normal, like to have that many customers, you're just pitching and demoing to and really being able to like negotiate go through the whole sales process over and over again i can't say i would have gotten that experience at a big company so i am so grateful that i got thrown into the fire when i got here and i like not only got thrown into the fire but i like crushed it so it just it's got me real excited and hyped because one of the reasons i'm in sales a lot of people don't know this is i am mad competitive like so if you want to be in sales you definitely need to be i feel like competitive in the sense where not like i want to take people down but i i know once i set a goal for myself like i'm going after it and there's quarters i've been extremely motivated like for me to have gone number one two quarters back to back like my it was the same thing, kind of like how I'm going to Microsoft now and I'm on a high. Like, I know, like, I want to come in and do this. Like, I want to be, like, top three. And I set my goal on that. And even saying that just sound wrong because I really want to be number one. Like, to be the number one seller in your organization is really, like, it's really the best feeling. Like, you're in sales. Like, everybody's trying to make the most money. So imagine when you really do it and your name's on the board and... You know, you get your sales medal. Like at a lot of companies, if you do good and you like are not number one, but you're in your if you're in something called the hundred percent club at these companies, like the hundred percent club usually gets like a crazy vacation once a year. Like to like my company, I think was going to do Hawaii or something this year. They pay for your stuff. Like you know, there's a lot of incentives. I would say on top of the accelerations um, that you get on your paychecks for being number one. So yeah. I just feel like I'm so excited and I'm calm, but I'm excited. I know I seem really calm, but I am really, really excited about this next move. Um, the new office, y'all, I got to go in there and visit like this kind of like view I got out the office, which was also after I accepted, you know, the offer, I was like, oh, wow, like, I wonder what it looks like there. And I have a friend who works at LinkedIn. So she was like, I can bring you in as a guest for the day so you can see it. So that was just phenomenal. I got to spend the day working over there and it was just a super, super dope experience to be completely transparent. So, um, yeah, you know, um, it was dope. So this is where I'm at right now with everything and I think that I'm definitely moving in a positive direction. Um, and I just think that God is definitely aligning my steps for where I need to be, the environments, the networks that I need to be in. Um, I was at IBM, like I mentioned before, for three and a half years before making this move. And um, one thing I can say is that like being there, your network as so many other companies. Like, so think of it this way. Like when you go to like an IBM, like I have somebody on my team who came into IBM in Atlanta with me at IBM on my current team at my One Trust now. People, it's such a big company. Everyone goes to everywhere. And what ends up happening is, it's kind of like college, you know, like your alumni, like, oh, like, you know, like maybe you might apply somewhere and now somebody else knows you from your work ethic or your work brand at another company. And you'd be surprised how close, like, it's not a close industry, but you'd be surprised how your network can be really powerful when you are applying to certain companies, needing referrals for jobs, things of that nature. So, you know, just keep those things in mind too when you're choosing 
um, where you want to work. But like I said, no bad blood where I was, but just definitely new things are on the horizon um, that seem just look bigger, better, and just, you know, I'm ready to take this, I'm ready to go for it right now and just see if I can do this at Microsoft as well, like, you know? Am I as good at a startup as I am at one of the biggest tech companies in the world? Like, can I prove that to myself that I know I could be one of the top sellers there? Um, and it's funny because one of me and my homegirls, we was laughing because I was just like, girl, you know, I always said that I, I wanted to be on the biggest accounts, the biggest deals, at the biggest companies, like walking in like that boss ass bitch in the, in the boardroom. Like, <laughs> I will always say that to her. So for this to just be rapidly happening, like the accounts that I'm on, like everything just keep on happening just because I keep putting in the work and just showing up to work. Like, you know, it's just kind of crazy. But anyways, I'm just pulled up at Shanice's house. She is about to close on her townhouse right now. So I'm gonna show y'all a little glimpse of that. And then um, I will talk to y'all soon. That's not really a taste of some, none of these people cover that yeah. 60 so that doesn't count. Yeah. Okay, go through this list, plus what we have here. So kitchen hardware, I assume that's just all these cabinet things. Yep. LVP on the top floor, that's all done. Loose commode and master, so that'll just be like a loose toilet, but I think that's all good. Now this dog is so funny. Chloe, you got an attitude with me? You got an attitude with me, girl? Okay, we about to go for the car right now. Okay. We're going. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. And then look, y'all, if I don't go within the next two, three minutes, she's gonna come back over here like nudge me, like let's go right now. Chloe. She's like, lady, let's go for the car ride. Chloe, you gotta give me five minutes. Five minutes so we can go in the car, okay? Mommy has to finish doing one thing and then we're gonna go. All right, I'll look. <laughs> All right, y'all, so today is the day that we're about to get um, my intro video for the podcast and then we're gonna get the marketing for Instagram. So I am here, I'm getting my makeup done um, and then I'm gonna go meet up um, a little bit later to start filming. So say hey. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the way Ebony does my makeup. So, um, <laughs> I literally, literally just love how it comes out when I'm working. Oh, look at this makeup. It looks so natural. I love it. I literally love it. About to get a little content. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. All right, y'all. So I am back home right now, and I am actually about to do a quick little curl on the hair. Unfortunately, it's raining outside, which is really irritating me right now because I want to do part of this is like me hopping out the car, like, and all that stuff. Like, we got a whole little video we're about to do for the podcast um and I know I'm like lightly introducing the podcast but it's something I want to be introduced like like just y'all ain't know I was working on this I've been cooking it up it's on the way period <laughs> but um I am super excited I'm gonna be honest this is something I'm a little nervous about because it's just a new element for me but as you guys know if you follow me on Instagram I've been putting out content um for the past year where we go to the studio and we have productions and we sit down and have conversations and it was really easy for me. So I'm like, okay, so like now I want to take that to the next level with you guys. So the podcast name is called Big Boss Energy and we're pretty much going to be helping people foster all the skills they need, understanding what it takes to be successful and what it takes to really become a boss. Like, you know, how do you become the biggest boss out here? What characteristics do you need? What mental do you need? Um, along with that, um, I will be dropping, by the time this vlog comes out, you'll be seeing all this. So I, guys, I'm so happy to announce I am moving on from One Trust, the company I was at, and I will now be an enterprise sales representative at Microsoft. So that is some really great news. Originally, I was going to start later in November, and I remember dropping that like little hint in another vlog, like I can't tell y'all yet because I couldn't because I'm still employed where I, I am. Um, but I've put in my resignation and your girl is literally 
about to go work at Microsoft, which is the second biggest tech company in the world. So I feel like, you know, now is the time for me to really help people more. Like as I'm looking at this journey by myself, where I've gone the past 18 months in my life, the amazing skills that I've acquired and the articulate, um, how articulate I've become, how much more confident I've become in my sales, how amazing of a seller I've proved to myself to be. And now I am going to be doing this at one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Like period, period, poo. Like it's just getting litter. Yesterday's price is officially not today's price. You heard me, okay? So anyways, let's check out the outfits for the shoot today. I'm so excited, guys. Like, whew, I can't wait. Like, the podcast vibe is going to be so dope, and I can't wait for you guys to see. This will probably be the last vlog before I start to drop the episodes, and I'm gonna keep vlogging, but I'm also now gonna be incorporating the podcast episodes on my channel as well. So really excited about this new journey I'm about to take on all aspects of my life. As you guys know, like things have been really crazy and just it was just it's just been a very wild past few months for me, and God has just consistently, consistently been blessing me. Like, seriously. Um, so Despite all the negative things that have been happening, so much positive has been happening. I'm so grateful for it. And I can't wait to share this journey with you all. So let's go ahead and get changed and do some hair. And then we are going to head over to Buckhead where I'll be doing the shoot. I'm back and I am fully dressed. So this is the outfit that I have chosen for the video shoot. And I love this. Got this outfit from Zara. It's about 150 bucks for the set. But y'all, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited. I'm really nervous too to release this, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get shit done. Bring out behind the scenes of the shoot. Um, and let's get into it. We're ready now. We got we out, we out, we out. <laughs> good morning. Today is my first day at Microsoft. So your girl's about to get her laptop and go try to line you. So let's see what she can. Let's see what my first day has in store for me. I'm excited. It's a new chapter. It's here. It's beginning. So this is the laptop that I got. And I actually have never seen one of these, but they are really cool. <laughs> like, what? Good morning. Oh, this is kind of janky. I'm wearing my old company company uh, company shirt telling y'all I'm about to go into my new office today. Um, good morning. I'm getting up. It is 924. I have some meetings starting at 1130. Um, and there's a team meeting. They're hosting in the office uh, at one o'clock today. Um, so I have meetings from like 1130 to two. Um, want to go into the office today it's my first day where i officially got my new microsoft badge y'all so i'm about to pull myself together and then we about to head into the office i'm going to give you guys a tour show you what it's like my first day on this new campus here um in atlanta they built the new microsoft office off 17th street um and it overlooks the whole city so it's gonna be a really cool experience can't wait hopefully i meet some people on my team it's really rainy they told me we can wear jeans, keep it chill. So I'm just going to throw something on light, um, comfortable, and I'm going to head into the office. So give me a second. Let me let baby Chloe out. She's knocked out in the bed. And we're going to get into this vlog. New opportunities, new money, new bags, new everything. Okay, no, I'm playing. Um, but really excited. New opportunities on the way. So good morning. Let's get this day started. It is October 13th and it is nine, about nine 15 in the morning. So let's go ahead and get this day started and see what's shaking. And I'll be back. Thank you. 
I just had two meetings, literally. Um, I had an all hands call with my team. Um, then I just had another meeting with the team that I'll be directly working with. Um, so I have been just, you know, trying to get all my stuff done. I'm sitting in a chill space in here. There's so many cool spaces. There's like Xbox rooms where you can go chill. They have a podcast studio, which is dope because y'all know I'm doing my podcast. Um, they have like a recording studio. I'm about to go check out the other building next to this. So there's two campuses next door to each, well, one campus and two buildings within this campus. This is actually really cool because I'm sitting at this window and the first place I ever moved in Atlanta is like the direct view of the office. So it's just kind of cool. Like one of those full circle moments, like, damn, look at what started from the bottom that we here, <laughs> looking across the street. And this wasn't even a view when I moved here. This building wasn't even created, but um, it's been really cool. Everybody has been so nice. Um, the food was busting, and yeah, this is my first day um, in the office at Microsoft, and it has been a pleasure. I actually think I'm definitely going to come here like one to two days a week because they have such chill design workspaces. They got like chill, like a little meditation room. Like they got a whole bunch of stuff in here that is really dope that you can... You know, like some days if I just don't want to be in the house, like I feel like I could come put my headphones in and just literally be in, you know, some jeans and a hoodie in a corner and a bean bag, like working. So that's kind of cool to curate that vibe where people can feel comfortable to work. The rooftop is really dope. I was up there earlier. That was the footage of where I was eating. So you can go just chilling cabanas out there and eat and work. I think just the vibes of the spaces here are really dope. So anyways, I am going to go meet... Um, someone downstairs in the lobby and I'm gonna go check out the other building so I'm gonna show y'all some footage of that and I'm gonna show you guys a little more footage of where I am in here in this building um hey <laughs>
told me go to the second floor and check out that. that they said there's something there. Hold on. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. What's cool in the building? There's a green room. It's my first time in here. Yeah, I want to go to the no, plant room. That's what they told me. Like to <laughs> well, just to see everything, really, because I ain't never seen them. Well, um, they do have the plant room there. Yeah, that's what they told me. And then on this side, if you go down and make a left, um, they got a ping pong table okay. in there. And um, you have a rooftop on six. Okay. And you have a rooftop on 10 on the other side. Okay, I went to that one. So this is my first one. time in this building. So I just okay. wanted to see. Yeah, the rooftop up here is amazing. On oh, six? Okay, yes. cool. So we're going to check it so out. Y'all check that out. You work at Microsoft? I do. Nice. I just I'm started here. Check here. Nice to meet Take you. Take care of this food. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet y'all too. Awesome. Thank you. And this is what I'm trying to go see. How y'all doing today? Really? This is how it was on that fourth floor. I was just on that I just told you about. Like I would really work under there, like in the cut. Like, I want to work in here one day. In here? I told you this room right here is just my vibe. Like, hold on, wait. Come over here so I could get a clean um, shot of the room. I love this room. Literally. Oh, this is gonna be my spot until it get cold. I like this better than that one. I like this better than the 10th floor one. The views here is immaculate. And then if you go this way, there's a little bee farm. It's just like a bunch of bees. Let me see the door. Okay. Hold on, let me also just get this real quick, a solid handle. That's what they were telling me is they can get honey for the time. It is. I need to put them up. <laughs> I gotta take advantage of this for like the next two, three weeks before it really get cold. Yeah, it's cold in the morning and the evenings, but the midday be perfect.